Atrio is one of the best new CRMs on the market. But the main problem is that people don't know if Atrio is made for them or not. At Breakall, we have many customers who came from Atrio to us. And we also send them some people because we know when we're not a good fit. This video will not be your typical boring review of Atio's features. I will focus on its unique aspects and on what type of company is the perfect fit for Atio. My name is Arno Bellinga and I'm the co-founder and CEO at Breakcall, an AI CRM for modern salespeople. All right, so according to one of the blog posts, the ambition of Atio is to disrupt Salesforce. As you might know, Salesforce is the largest CRM on planet Earth and its core targets are enterprises. So when you know that, it's obvious that Atio is going after very mature customers, usually companies with 20 to 50 plus seats. If you're a smaller company, in my opinion, Atio can still be a good fit, but only in two scenarios. The first scenario is when you are a scaling B2B startup. Atio is very much designed for product-led startups that are dealing with lots of data. You can plug your segment account and pushing many data points to your CRM leads. The second scenario is that you are a very tech-savvy person Atio is a very powerful CRM software. You can build crazy CRM automations where you can do some AI ICP filtering before sending email sequences and much more. Everything works with automation credits that can scale pretty fast, but the pricing is still fair for what it does. However, the learning curve of those automation features is quite steep. If you're a small company that is just looking for a lightweight CRM that you can easily automate, Atio is probably not for you. Or you will have to hire an agency to build your automation processes. On the other hand, Atio does have some features that require very little setup, like the contact enrichment feature that can help you enrich emails, phones, employee count, AR, and much more info from your leads. They also have a cool AI note taker that is directly integrated to the CRM. Now let's talk about the downsides of Atio. The main one that comes to my mind is the lack of social integrations. B2B sales is not just about email and meetings. Deals are moving forward on many different platforms like LinkedIn, WhatsApp, or Telegram. This is not supported by Atio. So you will have to do manual data entry to sync all those data in the CRM. The second thing is that Atio is not a true AI native CRM. You do have some AI features here and there, but there's still a lot of things that you need to set up manually for it to work. But again, to set this up, you need to be quite technical. This is why if you're not too tech savvy or just lazy, break call can be a good fit. I usually say that Atio is the next Salesforce, whereas break call is the next pipe drive. So what it means is that Atio is designed for big companies with very advanced needs and break call is made for digital SMBs who are very much into AI automation and socials. With break call, you basically have nothing to do. Your leads move automatically in the CRM depending on your interactions with them. Your AI agent creates tasks so you can never miss a follow-up. Essentially, your only job is to show up on the dashboard and chat with your leads via email, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, Telegram, or phone. All the rest is automated. And the best part is that you don't need to become a CRM expert to build those automations. It's basically zero setup required. And if you want to do advanced automations, you can just write what you want to do. And that's what a true AI native CRM does. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to that YouTube channel and try my software, Breakhold at Breakhold.com. Cheers, bye.